Hello amazing people, welcome back to my vlog. For today's journey, I'm going to share how we did our form 5476 or the use of representative. So I'm also going to share kung ano nga ba yung use of representative, kung pwede bang maging representative si sponsor at ano yung kinaibahan niya sa uncompensated representative at sa authorized representative. So again guys, you can use this as a guide when answering your forms but of course still your choice. Um, it's also based on your experience pa rin and your background on way ng pag-answer ng mga forms. One of the advantage na going representative to sponsor is anything na update uh, from IRCC is receive agad ni sponsor and pwede rin kontakin ni sponsor si IRCC about the status or any updates about your application. Or kung meron man siyang question about your application, makakontakt ni sponsor. One of the easiest way in getting your forms is through your PR portal account as well. All you have to do is sign into your account. And as you can see guys, naka auto save na yung username and password namin para to save time every time na maglalagin kami. We don't have to put it. Let's click on view my applications. And once you click view my application, you will see the initi initiated application that we did before as a sample of this online application so just click on view today we're we will be doing form 5476 which is to use a representative so you can download it from here and ito yung itsura niya And of course, the updated version is 11.2021. So, ano nga ba yung use of representative? Sino nga ba yung pading gumamit nito? So, from this um, website, it says na if you are appointing a representative, you can use this form. Have to update contact information for your previously appointed representative if you're going to um, update the address or the contact information or canceling a represent representative appointment so there are two types of representatives so number one is uncompensated representatives so ito yung mga um, person na oh, person <laughs> do not charge fees or those are unpaid services so uncompensated re representatives include friends, family, family members, or other third parties who do not and will not charge a fee. So question, pwede ba maging representative si sponsor? Absolutely, yes. Pwede po. And can also include yung mga consultants, lawyers, and students at law under their supervision as well who do not and will not charge a fee. While the authorized representatives naman are ito yung um paid services so this can be consultants lawyers and students at law under their supervision so ano nga bang advantage ng my representative so sila yung nakaka-receive ng updates regarding your application sila din yung pwedeng kumontak um sa IRCC if you have any questions about your application too So, balik tayo sa document checklist or IMM 553G. So, if you guys are gonna use your sponsor as a representative, then put a check mark here. And also in this box, put a check mark. I am appointing a representative, so you must complete the form 5476. So, if you want to know more about our use of representative or yung step by step instruction, so just visit this website which is yung guide 5561 that i um shared a while ago 
So important note, if a sponsor will receive a correspondence for or act in any way on behalf of the principal applicant and or any dependent child over the age of 18 included in the application for permanent residence, the application and any child 18 or older must each complete their own use of representative or young IMM 5476 listing the sponsor as a representative. If this is not provided, the application will be returned without being processed. So, kailangan hindi lang si principal applicant ang merong form 5476 if you guys have dependent so tapat. Um, yung mga dependent din is meron din sila sarisariling um, form 5476. But if you're not appointing a representative, then just put a check mark here. But if you're appointing, then of course, ayan yung magiging uh, dapat na kalabasan niya. Okay, so I'm um, gonna share how we did our form 5476 use of representative so you do not need to hire a representative it is your choice no one can guarantee the approval of your application all the forms and information that you need to apply are available for free at this website so note lang you must use this, use this form to appoint a paid or unpaid representative to conduct business with IRCC or the CBSA on your behalf You must use this form to notify IRCC if your representative contact information changes. Two, if you wish to cancel the appointment of your current representative. Three, if you wish to cancel the appointment of your current representative and appoint a new representative. So I am appointing a representative, complete section A, B, and D. But if you guys are canceling the appointment, then put a check mark check mark here and complete section A, C, and D. So, section A is the applicant information. So, yung last name niya, given name, first name, second name, if she or he have it. Of course, yung date of birth. And then, if you have already submitted your application, so again guys, this is our first application. So, we just put NA, NA, NA or not applicable. Section B is uh, for representative. So again, yung last name niya, first name and second name kung meron man siya. So type of uh, representative is kung uncompensated ba or um, authorized representative. So kung si sponsor siya, it means uncompensated and is a family member. So put a check mark. But if you guys hire a consultant or a lawyer that will process your application, then sila na ang bahala dito. So, your representative's contact information, name ng organization, if a student at law. So, we just put NA, not applicable. And we just put yung mailing address ni sponsor. So, apartment or unit number, kung nakatira man siya sa townhouse or apartment. And then, street number, street name, city, province, say for example, British Columbia, and Canada. And of course, yung postal code. Don't forget that. And then, of course, yung um, cellular number ni sponsor ang nilagay namin dito. And also, don't forget the email address. So, uh, we use the sponsor email address in this section. So, your representative's declaration, I declare that the information in section B is truthful, complete, and correct. I understand and accept that I am the person appointed by the applicant to conduct business on the applicant or sponsor's behalf with IRCC and CBSA. So, yung signature lang ni sponsor and date kung kailan niya. Um, nilagdaan. <laughs> tagalog, tagalog. And, um, this one is not applicable, not applicable. Hindi naman tayo magka-cancel ng appointment of representative. And, of course, yung declaration ni principal applicant, signature of applicant. And then, yung signature naman ni spouse. And then, of course, yung date then. Ayan. 
Ayun lang guys. So in this form then is you have to print this after you um, answer this one kasi ito ay mga handwritten signature ang kailangan. And then you have to scan it again and then upload it to your profile. That's all. So yun lang. Um, thank you for watching. See you on my next vlog. Bye for now. I won't